But now that the federal government has admitted that their response compounded the problem, doesn't the federal government owe it to Puerto Rico to finally do the right thing? I think President Trump should apologize to the people of Puerto Rico for the lack of FEMA's response and the lack of preparedness and the pain and the suffering that they're going through. It was Mother Nature with Hurricane Maria, and that we leave to Mother Nature, but it was Father Trump who compounded the problem by not having an appropriate federal response. Now, they should start with an apology, and then they should follow it up with action. Puerto Rico did a plan for reconstruction that called for $94 billion from the federal government. So far, our, our information is only $5 billion has been given to Puerto Rico after the plan called for $94 billion, and the $5 billion is a loan. Now that you have admitted that you were part of the problem federal government, why don't you at least step up and give Puerto Rico the aid it needs to rebuild, give them the $94 billion, and give it to them now. In terms of federal mistakes and federal debacles, Tish James, the New York City public advocate, reminded us this morning of Hurricane Katrina, which was in New Orleans, which was a terrible, terrible uh, debacle of the federal government responding uh, to a terrible storm. Hurricane Katrina, 1,800 people lost their lives. And there's a serious question how many people needed to lose their lives. How many people died just because of the storm versus the lack of response by the federal government. But it's a terrible stain on the federal government, the way they responded to Hurricane Katrina. 1,800 people. The new estimate is 4,500 people died in Puerto Rico. 4,500 compared to 1,800 in Katrina. That puts it in perspective. That's why an apology should be forthcoming, and that's why the federal government should now acknowledge its error, acknowledge its responsibility, and step up to the plate and do the right thing. I hope the Puerto Rican community in the United States make sure that they remind every congressperson, every U.S. senator, every elected official, of how terrible the federal government was to Puerto Rico. The people of Puerto Rico were treated as second-class American citizens. We have a federal government that is very good at dividing people. Uh, that's what they do. That is their approach. What they did is they divided Puerto Ricans from Americans. And what they missed was Puerto Ricans are American citizens, and there are no second-class American <laughs> citizens. We will continue to push the federal government, but uh, rest assured, your brothers and sisters in New York are with you 100% of the way, and we are going to continue to walk this road to recovery with you until it's fully done. Thank you.